House is responding to controversial claims made about the president in a new book from his niece. Here's ABC's Alex Perche with the details. This afternoon, embarrassing personal details about President Trump penned by a member of his own family. ABC News has obtained a much anticipated memoir written by Mary Trump, the daughter of the president's deceased older brother, Fred Trump Jr. The book, Too Much and Never Enough, How My Family Created the World's Most Dangerous Man, is laced with several private anecdotes, details certain to embolden the president's critics and enrage his loyal allies. Any big takeaways so far? He has been known in the public scene for maybe 40 years now, but not a lot has been explored about his early upbringing. There have been attempts at biography, often dictated by Donald Trump and people that he controls. This is, though, a more unvarnished take uh, written by a niece who's somewhat estranged from the president and his immediate family, who does not have the same uh, glorified feelings toward the man. Mary Trump, a psychologist who's been estranged from her uncle Donald off and on both before and after he became president, is clearly tying this book to the current political climate. With less than four months until the 2020 elections, she warns voters if he's afforded a second term, it will be the end of the American democracy. Ms. Trump claims the president's reluctance to apologize was something he learned at an early age. The president's niece also alleges he and his siblings were behind a scheme that left her and her brother with a smaller inheritance when her grandfather, Fred Trump Sr., died. President Trump has previously said Mary Trump was not allowed to write a book because of a non-disclosure agreement that relates to her settlement with the family estate. But after weeks of legal jockeying, publisher Simon & Schuster announced it would release the book on July 14th, two weeks earlier than planned, due to high demand and extraordinary interest. It's ridiculous, absurd allegations that have absolute no bearing in truth. Uh, have yet to see the book, but it is a book of falsehoods. And while this book is scheduled for release next week, a hearing for the restraining order on Mary Trump is set for this Friday. Alex Brashe, ABC News, Washington.